Welcome back to another tutorial. This time I'm going to be talking about a new tool called Workshop Uploader. Its sole purpose is to load X-Packs that you've created up into Steam so that other people can share them, can uh, subscribe to them and download them. Um, here's one I've created earlier. Um, you can click there. And I could go ahead and make changes to this and update it again. But I'm just going to recreate this, basically create a second version of it so you can see the process. Um, now before I get started, the first thing I want to do is show the preparation for this. I've got a, a preview icon here, which is just a, a little thumbnail, could be bigger than this. Um, can't be too large in size, I don't know the exact limit, but uh, there is a limit on that. Um, and you need a folder which contains the XPack zip file and just that. Nothing else can exist in this folder. So with that done, you can come back to the uh, uploader and we'll click create new item. That's going to create a new item here and I can flick between these now. These are the two items that I've got created there. And now we just want to point the um, the folder that we're going to upload. Uh, we point that here, so that's already remembered from last time that I use this. And it pulls out the the name of the XPack. I called it Jumps by Brendan, um, and loads it in there as the title. We select that as the image, and we're pretty much done. You could do that. Um, straight away and upload straight away. I'll just talk about the um, naming. You want to um, probably not only give it a name that describes the content, but you may want to personalize it a little bit so that people can realize it's coming from yours. If there's another person making jumps and we had we both had jumps as the title, um, that would get confusing for people. They, they wouldn't be able to just subscribe to both because it um, uh, RTB would get confused about uh, which X-Pack you're actually referring to. Um, so you can only have one um, obviously for each name. So try and make it a little bit unique, um, customize even if it's your initials or your call sign, whatever you like, but um, just not jumps. Um, and then we put in a description here, jumps and ramps for launching cars into the air. Um, you can set this as public friends only or private. I'm going to list it as private because I don't want this going live. It's actually a copy of the stunt so it would confuse people. Um, for tags, this is used for searching uh, rumps, ramps and jumps or rumps and jamps. And um, use a comma to separate any tags that you've got there so you can have multiple tags just put a comma in between and change notes um, so this is our initial release and that's it update the item away we go doesn't take too long for this size expect um, it shows you the progress bar there and then Steam does a little bit of finalizing and then it pops up into the window and shows you what you've just loaded up. You can then um, go and change it there, change the visibility. I could make that public if I'm happy with it. And then people can simply search for it under Workshop and then they can subscribe to it. Um, Steam will automatically do the downloading of the content and um, store it under your, your Steam uh, folder and then RTB the next time RTB loads up it'll be available either as your theme pack or an X pack depending on what type of content it is um, so it's pretty straightforward obviously the the work most of the work is in the preparation of the the content uh, but that's already been covered in other tutorials so that's it pretty simple thanks for watching